So here we go, quarter final time here for the last time in Tlaxcala at the 2022 Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals. It's time to go meet the athletes. On target number one, representing Brazil, Marcos Almeida. On target number two, representing Spain, Miguel Alvariño Garcia. The lunches for this match is Hussein Nasiri. So here we go. The last of the quarterfinals here in Tlaxcala, Mexico, and it's the 24-year-old world number five, Marcus Dalmeida from Brazil qualified by ranking, going up against the stage winner, Miguel Alvarino, and the number two seed for the competition. And it will be Alvarino of Spain who shoots first. Of course, he won this competition back in 2015, the last time it was held in Mexico. Ready. So all in the nines. St. Marcus Almeida, Dalmeida qualified by ranking, but he didn't qualify because he won the stage in Paris. Alvarino winning at the first opportunity in Antalya, but also picked up bronze medals in Guangzhou and Medellin. Pressure now on Al Dalmeida. He needs a 10 to stay on this one. And it's a 27 for him, but Alvarino starting things off with a 28. We knew this one was going to be tight. Yeah, I think it really will be a tight one all the way. Two great archers, like you said, very similarly ranked fourth and fifth in the world, so it's not going to be easy. No, and, uh, <laughs> When we d look at the Koreans coming out and banging into the tens straight from the start, uh, does, are we just looking at this? This is uh, the rest of the field going for second place because there's, there's, I know it's early stages and they're you know, warming up into this, but those two Koreans came out and just shot tens right from the off. Well, Kim Woojin did. Uh, Kim Jo Jok was a little bit more, you know, nine in each of the first two. Didn't actually shoot it perfect at all. So there's room. There's room. But they've got each other next. Yeah, they knock each other. One of them's <laughs> going to be out. So, Marcus Dalmeida on the shooting line for set number two. Everything's to the right. Going to need to find the middle of the target a little bit more here. Uh, neither of them at the moment will uh, yes. be striking fear into Mete Gazos, is who they would meet if they win in this particular quarterfinal. Yes. So, Dalmeida showing what he's made of with a... Uh, sorry, <laughs> Alvarino showing what he's made of with a 29. It's close, isn't it? It's not much in it at all. You can see the Brazilian coach there, Alberto Sagimi, talking to his archer all the way through, giving him some pointers, some feedback where the arrows are going. But 
technical advice as well. Is there any, there's nothing in particular that stands out in terms of incorrect technique or anything, and the 28 is a great score. So, you know, it's kind of like the Koreans have set the bar so yeah. high at the beginning of the yeah. quarterfinals that it seems that this is a, a, a lower standard. It's not, it's supremely high. All about getting through the quarterfinals here. They made a four behind. In the nines again. Yes. Does Alvarino sense the opportunity to finish this one in three sets? I think he probably does. He won't want to be thinking that, but yes. he's done so well this year. He's just been on fire after such a gap in his performance back in 2015. Is this his year? Ready. So all square after two arrows. I made a need to put down a big one here put some pressure on Alvarino but the door's left open again a 28 from him a 10 will take Alvarino through to the semi-finals oh and he pops it into the eight so points on the board now for Marcus Dalmeida 27 from Alvarino that will be uh, considered a little bit of a disappointment for him yeah that was was a bit of a gift, wasn't it? And that can really throw you confidence as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how Avarino comes back in this next set because that can play on your mind, you know, a bad shot just when you need to put a 10 in and you know that you could have just won the match and you haven't, you haven't taken that opportunity. It's a real chance for Marcus Almeida. Yeah, interesting point, how will the Spaniard handle a missed opportunity. And that is the final arrow going into the eight when a 10 would have meant a booked place. He manages to laugh it off, but it means that Marcus Dalmeida is on the scoreboard, still trailing by four set points to two. So Dalmeida will shoot first. Set number four. Yes. Hello. Yes. Well, they both fell in the middle at the same time here. Rapido decision. Taken the three sets to warm up to this. Oh, a little bit of movement, a little bit of holding. This isn't going to go so well. Yes. Oh. <laughs> How has he managed to do that? <laughs> so, door opens again, but. There was a lot of tension in that last shot from Alvarino. A 10 to finish this one off. <sighs> Just drops into the nine, so the points are shared. 29 apiece, but just starting to see shades of fear in the eyes of uh, Miguel Alvarino. Yeah, he just didn't look comfortable, did he? I think again he realised he had a chance. And it's just, he's trying to control those external thoughts. You know, you've really just got to stick with the normal process, what you do in your bubble. And in training, that's easy. And then we start putting pressure on and pressure on. And this is about as high as it gets when there's so much on the line. You want to get on top of this podium. You've got to put all of that out of your mind. It's hard. 
I mean, we take a look back over this, the two tens to start from Dalmeida showing signs of a fight as well. But is it a fear of winning as much of a, as a fear of losing when these athletes get to that point? I don't think so. I think it's more of a fear of losing that, you know, you, you've still got to get out there and do this and you've still got to shoot the 10. Yeah. It's an interesting dynamic. Alvarino has been right up to the finishing line twice already in the match, but Dalmeida still yes. in it and starts the fifth and final regulation set with a 10. I think he's got a big chance here, the Brazilian. He's got the momentum, hasn't he, at the moment, I think. Yes. So, an hour earlier this time, Miguel Alvarino with a big one here. If he can put this into the 10, it puts an enormous amount of pressure on his opponent. Yes. He does. Still trying to calm his nerves and keep his heart rate down. Almeida looks very solid. That's a close one. Is that on the line? It's been marked for a measure. So 28 is the minimum you get. A 29 could be marked up to, and that's why Alvarino needs a 9 here. He gets a 10 and finishes with a perfect 30 and takes this quarterfinal 7 points to 3, but not without a couple of Big wobbles from him in the middle of the match, but uh, Alvarino completes the semi final lineup here in Taxcala, where he will face Mete Gazos from Turkey.